Hi everyone! In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add captions to your slides when making shows with the ProShow Wizard or when using ProShow Web. Now first, let's learn how to do this on your desktop. Now I'm using ProShow Producer, but the tools we'll be working with are exactly the same in ProShow Gold. Alright, let's begin by opening the wizard. When you first open ProShow, you may see this window. To access the wizard, just click this icon. Now if you don't see this window, don't worry, you can always access the wizard by clicking the wizard icon up here in the workspace toolbar. Now within the wizard, there are two ways to add captions to your slides. When adding content from your computer, you'll use this first option. All right, now let's click the add button to bring in some content. Now to add a caption to a slide, simply select a slide, then press this caption button over here near the bottom of the wizard. Now type in some text, and whatever you type in here will appear on screen along with your photo or video as the slide plays. With your text added, just press OK to save the change. Now back in the content window, you'll see the caption appear just below the slide. To edit or remove the text, select the slide, then press the caption button again. Okay, now let's take a look at the second way to add captions with the wizard. This time, we'll use the import option. Personally, I really like to add captions to the photos that I put on Facebook. So I'm gonna choose Facebook, then log in, and then choose an album. Now just below the thumbnails for my images, I can see there are some captions that I added online when I posted these photos. Alright, so now I'll select a few images that I want to import using the wizard. Then down here at the bottom, I'll toggle this Download Captions option. Now when I press the Add to Show button, the wizard will download the photos, bring them into the wizard, and also include the captions automatically. Now, I know that I tend to add some pretty detailed descriptions to some of the images I post online. So before I build the show, I'm going to double check these captions. And here's a great example. Right away I can see that I have way too much text for a single slide. Now, I could make all of this text work if I wanted to build the slide manually. But since I want the wizard to build the show for me quickly, it's better to simply edit this caption down. Now, once I've added all my content, added my music, and picked a theme, we can see how ProShow combines the text and images for us. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now let's take a look at how this works in ProShow Web. There are a few subtle differences, but basically everything we just did on the desktop is the same online. First, let's add some content from our computer. Next, let's add a caption. Select a slide, then click this icon up here that looks like a pencil and paper. Now type in some text and then press apply. Now unlike the desktop, you won't be able to read the actual text you typed in. Instead, you'll see this marker that says text. This indicates that this slide has a caption applied to it. To edit the caption, click the pencil and paper icon again, and either type something new and press apply, or press the Remove button. There is also another type of caption you can make with ProShow Web, a caption that features a larger heading and a smaller subheading, like this. To add this kind of caption to your slides, select a slide, then click the caption icon. Down here in the bottom of the window, change the caption type from Normal to Headings. Now type in a simple heading at the top. Just a word or two will do. Now in the second box, type in something more descriptive. And when we're done, we press the Apply button. Now back in the slide list, you'll see the text indicator shows you that you now have a heading type caption applied to the slide. Alright, now just like working on the desktop, you can import content from another online service and include the captions. Let's click the Add Content button, then select a service. Now log into your account and choose some images. When you press the Add button, 
ProShow Web will automatically look for any text that may be associated with the images or videos you've posted to that service. When text is detected, you'll see this box. Here, ProShow Web will show you if there are any captions, what those captions say, and is asking you if you want to import these captions and add them to your slides. Now in this example, I can see this first caption is way too long, so I'll simply uncheck the selection and ignore this caption. Now the rest all look pretty good, so I'll go ahead and import them into my show. If I want to edit the caption, just as before, I'll select a slide, click the pencil and paper icon, and either edit or remove the caption. I can also change this imported caption from normal to headings. Now let's build the video and check out the results. Just like using ProShow Gold or Producer, ProShow Web combines captions with my images and videos and helps me make an amazing show quickly. That's it for this lesson, but be sure to visit our blog or check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.